Yeah, I read also, this. Yeah, that is true, but also causing us some health issues. Yeah, that's true. I wasn't aware of it. Someone told me they were feeling uh, breathing was difficult. And I Googled it and saw that it was this uh, Saharan sand that's in the atmosphere. So hopefully people are okay. Hi, Yulia, nice to meet you. Teacher Dave in Florida, how are you today? We're talking with Marie, who's in the Caribbean. How are you? Can you hear? Uh, hi, oh, there hi. You are. I, hi, nice I to meet you. I hear you. <laughs> nice to meet you uh, too. I'm Yulia from Russia. Uh, uh, I've been learning welcome. English for four years and I'm happy to be here. Beautiful, welcome to our class. Would you Thank like you so to uh, tell us a little about yourself? We're gonna go around to everyone and everyone will give a, a little introduction. Um, I'm teacher Dave, I'm in Florida in the United States and I teach English. So something like that, you know, two or three sentences. Um, okay, but... I'm, uh, I live in St. Petersburg. Um, mm -hmm. It's a big city. Um, on uh, in on the north of our country. Um, uh, what else? <laughs> what do you do um, in uh, Saint Petersburg? Where do you work? Um, or hospital? Uh, I don't work uh, currently. Uh -huh. How to say currently? And, yes. Yeah, uh, currently. And, That's correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I I am married and I have a daughter. She's ten and she's learning. She's learning English too. She has been learning English too. Oh, beautiful! That's great. Your English sounds very good. Oh, you've thank been, you so much. You've been studying for a long time, and I've been learning English for four years. Four years. Wow! Very I, impressive. Oh, uh, thank you. I used sure. to study, yeah. mm -hmm. sorry, uh, I used to study English at school and then I had a big gap. And mm -hmm. so I started learning English again. It's impressive, it sounds great. I'm surprised mm -hmm. many of the people in our classes speak very well. It's, it's very impressive. And you're another student who speaks very well. So welcome. And um, so the first class we did introductions. The second class we did something we call an elevator speech, which is if you're on an elevator with somebody in about a minute, minute and a half, you introduce yourself, you tell them who you are and maybe why you're interested in them and then what you want. So an elevator speech is three parts. It's an introduction. It's who you are, and then it's also what, what, why you're good at what you want. So I could say, hi, I'm teacher Dave. I'm an English teacher in Florida, and I've taught for years many students who seem to like me, and I'm interested, the third part, what you want, I'm interested in teaching for your school, and this is called an elevator speech. Um, when you want something quickly. So that was the second lesson. And so we'll let you maybe practice this week an elevator speech for next week and you could catch up if you want to uh, learn that. It's very handy for business or, you know, just when you meet people quickly, if you have something that you need them to know um, it's a quick way of communicating. So uh, let's move along and Tariq talked and Marie, are you still there? Sorry, I cut you off for a new student. Would you like to do an elevator speech again and see how that goes? If I remember what it is. <laughs> Who you are and why you're the best at what you do and then what you want from the person within a minute, minute and a half is the basic idea for elevator uh, speeches. So let's say you're selling flowers, right? 
So maybe you meet a customer and you only have a minute to tell them, you know, what would you say? Um, I was raised with my grandma and she was the one who really um, motivated me to doing it. She did it and I enjoyed doing it myself. So this is why I picked up the passion and I do it, I am creative. I do it in my own way, why not? So Yeah, that sounds great. But remember this person, you don't know who they are. So you have to first say, hi, I'm Marie. I sell, you know, flowers or arrange flowers. And then, so who you are and why you're good at it. I've been doing it, my grandmother's been doing it. It's in my family. And then what you want, I'm interested in maybe putting flowers in your store or whatever it is that you want. So the elevator speech is three parts. So um, do you want to try again or for next week, maybe uh, get that one? Okay, let me get it right. My name is Marie and Mm -hmm. I have a passion for floral arrangements. Um, I have been doing it for more than two, three years. Beautiful. And I would, I'm trying to develop my own business in it. It has been up and running for probably three years now. Yes. Excellent. Yes. And then the last thing is you ask them what you want. So you say, and I'm interested in being in your store or getting new customers or whatever it is you want from that person. And that way you have the whole uh, elevator speech. So it was perfect. Just remember the ask at the end, but uh, only if you need something from, from, you know, in business. Um, so Yasin, <laughs> would you like to try? try? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, I would like. Very good. Okay. Here Thanks, we are. Marie. So yes. my name is, okay. My name is Yasin Mrizu. I'm from Morocco. Um, a bachelor graduate in English studies. I have been teaching, I have been teaching English as a tutor for more than one year, and I started teaching online for more than two months. I believe that I should give students feedback and teach him teach them to use the language, to use the grammar, the vocabulary in a conver- conversational English. Mm-hmm. And I am interested in uh, taking part at your school. To get more to gain more experience excellent that was perfect just about perfect i don't even have anything to say it was very very good you're hired <laughs> you. so that's how you do it and who would like to try next um saif would you like to do the elevator speech and see introduce yourself to the class uh okay you thank you uh, good evening how are you today, teacher? Hi. How are you, everyone? Uh, I'm Saif Faki from Yemen. Uh, I live uh, in Amran City. I work uh, with Yemen Red Crescent Society as a social worker. Uh, I, I work with the IDBs uh, and uh, the child, their children. I work as a social worker with the children. Uh, in uh, a lot of uh, uh, in a lot of uh, camps for the IDBs, I uh, learn uh, them uh, children about uh, how can uh, uh, be uh, save them uh, themselves because uh, they were uh, we were, we live in uh, war, you know. Uh, before uh, this started before uh, five years. Uh, after that, I uh, complete uh, study uh, in ma- media, as a media. Wow. Uh, after that, uh, I, after that, I uh, can't uh, work in media. Okay, uh, because uh, in my uh, country, if you want to work in media, you should be uh, read anything they, they uh, give you to read it. But uh, I go to uh, work uh, in humanitarian. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I uh, get uh, experience with uh, social worker 
Uh, I am interesting with uh, children, with work for children. Uh, the work with children is fantastic. Uh, so I am uh, so happy because I uh, work with uh, my country children. There is uh, ha- I mean, um, uh, have a lot of uh, 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 or uh, mistakes with the war and uh, there is no uh, schools, there is no uh, any uh, place to uh, play. I uh, give him uh, a lot of uh, things to learn, a lot of uh, games to play. So a lot of uh, children in my country uh, doesn't go to uh, schools because uh, school, them schools is uh, uh, damaged with the war. So I am uh, very interesting with uh, my work. Thank you. Very good, Saif. You speak very well also. Um, I would say uh, speak a little slower so that it will be more clear, but it was very good speaking. And I'm sorry, it sounds like a very challenging situation. So it sounds like you're doing good work. So thank you. It's, uh, boy, there's a lot of troubles around today. So keep up the good work. And uh, let's move along. And Emil, could you introduce yourself? And if you'd like to do an elevator speech, you're welcome. Um, How are you today? Hi, David. Hi. Hi, my name is Emil, and I'm from Malaysia. Wow. Uh, As a teacher, um, a music teacher. Wow. What do you play? Mm, I play violin and piano. Excellent. I'm here, to, um, I'm here to improve my language and to to boost my confidence in speaking English because I have trouble to speak in public sometimes. Your, your language sounds very good. And you're speaking slowly, so I understood every single word. Is there a special topic that you're very interested in getting better at, or just general, would you say? Um, uh, I'm here to uh, enrich my vocabs. I oh, have. Uh, yes. Vocabulary. Oh, very good. Yeah, your language sounds great. Do you teach in English when you teach music or not usually? Mm, sometimes, yes. Oh, sometimes. Wow, that's fantastic. Wow. Thank you. And let's move along. And Rudolph, welcome to the class. How are you today? Would you like to introduce yourself and say hello? Hi. Hi. Oh, nice. There you are. Perfect. Oh, would you like to keep the camera? <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, but uh, okay. Uh, I'm Adolfo, and uh, my nickname is Rudolf. And I'm Very from good. Ecuador. Uh, that is my third class, and I love this class. It's the group. Uh, there's are there are a lot of people very friendly, and I'm a student. And now I I study only English, and. I work in the aviation. I'm a flight dispatcher. I don't know how do you know what is flight dispatcher? <laughs> oh, a dispatcher, the, a dispatch. Yeah. Yeah. And I live in now in Canada for a study, and uh, I start to study English uh, two months ago. Beautiful. Two <laughs> months ago, your English yeah. is fantastic. You guys but are. But so I remember smart. a lot of words then. The high school, the university, but uh, I try to a lot of speak, but mm-hmm. it's very difficult when you are old. <laughs> I'm 39 years old. Oh, you're ancient. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you live in Canada? What town are you near? Uh, now, now I live in Langley, near to Vancouver, in British oh, okay. Columbia. Do you like it up there? It must be nice now. Yeah, it's very nice. That place is very nice. The weather, the, I don't know, there are a lot of trees, forests. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Wow, well, your language is doing perfectly. I can't believe <laughs> two months. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's move along. And Eric, would you like to introduce yourself and say hello to the class and tell us a little about yourself? Hello. Uh, hi, how are you? Teacher Dave, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So uh, maybe introduce to the class and tell us a little about yourself. Hi, Veronica. I'm Eric. Um, I am. Uh, I live in Peru. Uh, the capital is Lima. I live. Uh, I live now. Mm -hmm. I am a police officer. Um, I want to learn English because my job. I want to visit many, many countries, and I love to learn language in general. Perfect. And as a police officer, you need to speak very clearly and maybe short sentences because it's important what you say to people. Yeah. So I'll mm -hmm. give you one tip. When you speak, look in the eyes or in this case, the camera, and then you communicate more uh, effectively. So that always helps if you can have eye contact um, I've told every class, but 90% of communication is not verbal. It's not verbal, it's, it's nonverbal. So how we speak, how we look, and how we act is very important when we communicate. Uh, not, it's, it's not as important the words often. 90% um, seems like a lot, but that's what that's what I was told is from the people that study it. So mm -hmm. welcome, Eric, and thank you. Thank I you. visited your beautiful country, and I love Peru. I was in Lima quite a few times. 1986, you weren't born yet. No, oh. 87, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. And Adrian, uh, hello, how are you today? And we're introducing ourselves and um, if you could introduce yourself and tell the class a little about yourself, that would okay. be awesome. Hi, everyone. My name is Adrian. I am from uh, Costa Rica. And I, am, I was with you, I think, the last week. And I am here to, to, to enjoy you again. And Welcome back. Thanks. Would, would you like to try the elevator speech where you say who you are, what, why you're um, great at something, what you want from someone, it's very good for business and they call it the elevator speech because when an elevator goes up, you're finished speaking and if you need uh, work or something from someone, you say like, hi, I'm Adrian, I am, and then you introduce yourself and you say, perhaps, you know, I'm very good at painting, I painted the school, if you need any painters, I'm your person, and then you ask them if they need, um, and this is called an elevator speech. So the first class I taught introduction, okay. and second one was elevator. Would you like to try it? Or maybe next week? Next week. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. I, would, I would like to hear the song of you, and next time, give an example. Very good, that's fine. Okay. Thanks. And Safa, welcome, how are you? And George, you're next. I see your hand up also. Uh, Safa, could you, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, Mr. David, how are you? Very nice good. Nice to meet you all. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Could you introduce uh, yourself to the class? And, uh, okay. Yes. Okay, my name is uh, Safa Selmi. Uh, I am from Tunisia uh, in North Africa. Uh, I am 26 years old. And I am uh, actually now uh, study in master's degree. Uh, next, uh, next year I will uh, graduate. Uh, that's why I want to learn English because I need it in my project. I will uh, travel to uh, Europe uh, to finish my uh, project. That's mm -hmm. why I need it. Wow, your language is great. You, and your presence is perfect. You're looking in the camera and you, it's I, um, when you say 
Mm-hmm. Sometimes uh, sometime I feel shy to, uh, to participate or to speak with others. Uh, and I don't have more uh, vocabulary. Uh, and uh, my pronunciation is not good. Uh, in some I disagree. Words. Your pronunciation is great, actually. I understood every single word. Um, I think you said Europe, and it's Europe. So that was the only word I heard, but even that, I understood it. So it's a Y sound, like a y- Europe, like that. David. Maybe, uh, maybe, Mr. David, uh, in yes. Tunisia, we study by, uh, by English, uh, by French language, M- maybe affect the French effect to the English. Maybe, yeah, uh, for sure. They mix between us. <laughs> I studied French three years, and then I went to South America twice, and they mushed together, so I spoke nothing at the end. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what I feel. <laughs> but you speak very well. And if you're honest and if you think about the message, your intention, what you want to tell someone and you speak slowly, people will understand and your confidence will come up. Sometimes I'll publicly uh, speak in front of crowds and I have to remember to speak slow and to think about why I'm there, you know, what, what my intention is. So what type of business are you going into? Uh, what your master's is in uh, what field? Uh, okay, uh, my uh, master's degree is uh, in quality control and safety food. Uh, and uh, this year I study and work at the same time in um, uh, society of quality. Uh, I, I get uh, I get uh, many difficult because I can't um, study and work at the same time, but uh, I uh, succeeded. Alhamdulillah. Well, I think your speaking is great. So far, everyone has been wonderful. And George, can I uh, ask you to introduce yourself and say hello to the class and a little bit a bit about yeah. yourself? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, all. Th- thank you, Mr. David. Uh, I'm so happy to be here, and uh, I'm so happy to speak with the uh, some uh, uh, my my fellow friends uh, from different country. My name is George, as you mentioned. Mm-hmm. I'm from Tanzania, East Africa, wow. and uh, I'm 23 years old. I'm the first. I'm the second born in my family. Wow. And, uh, you know, uh, Mr. David, uh, to me, I didn't go to the school. And uh, you can see how I'm improving on my language. Uh, you know, as here in Tanzania, we are not speaking English. We are just learning from the school. So as to wow. me here, I didn't, I didn't go to the school. And then I was just learning from the groups only, uh, like a Zoom meeting like this. So... I was always making more perfect things and uh, you're doing great now, George really like now, perfect it's your language is really wonderful also so far everyone yeah, is speaking so well same and, but you know uh, uh, I didn't go to the school because of my family you know my family was poor so that's yeah. why I was struggled to find uh, to, to find their school fees maybe and other things but my, my first dream uh, on my life, it was to have some project uh, which, con- it, which it's going to take, a, to take care of orphans, maybe if you understand me. Yes, I do. Take care of orphans. That's so really noble, now, wonderful. Now I can say that uh, I thanks to my God, now I have that project on my hand and uh, I'm, go- I'm growing up. Uh, like now, two two years, uh, two years since two years ago, and uh, now have uh, thirty children, uh, young baby. I have young baby, uh, like three, and others they have grown up. So I'm wow. living with them with through helpers, uh, helpers of people uh, around the world. Because you know, I meet with one of my friend from Europe. 
and others from Philippines, they try to help me to grow up that project. And now I can feel good that I have that, that project uh, through those friends. I meet with the only day here to the Zoom meeting and I share what, uh, what I, I, I have it and what uh, I, I want to do it. So they feel to, to help me and they feel to, to ask me more about me and more about uh, what I want. And well, you're doing day, amazing, was, George. You speak very well. You speak slowly and clearly. Yeah. And I understood every word you said. So yeah. congratulations, why, your uh, inspiration. It's really awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let me you, keep going. You. And Veronica, could you introduce yourself to the group and say hello, uh, if you could? Nice to meet you. I'm teacher Dave. Would you like to say hello? Yeah, hello. Hello, Hi. everyone. Hello, David. Thank uh, you. I am Veronica. Uh, I'm living in Italy, in uh, South Italy. I'm 49. I work uh, for 20 years. Um, what sort what, of work are you involved yes. in? No, I, I work tw for 22 years. I married for 20 years, uh, but I haven't a child. I am uh, an amazing dog, little dog uh, near me. Uh, wow. so, um, you must uh, be very smart. You have a lot of books. Behind yeah. you, I see. Did you read all those? Yeah, books? like my dog. Like wow. my dog. You have a puppy, or <laughs> uh, yeah, my dog is is, is near me. So uh, you want to show him to the class? Oh, beautiful! Hi, puppy. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, what sort of work know. do you do it's in Italy? Joy. What What's your um? What sort of work are you in? involved in what type of work do you do uh i i work in a comp in an aluminium company and my my job is uh, um mm -hmm. financial um, and accounting manager and so uh in this time uh above all after the covid uh the period of covid uh the situation is very very difficult uh and sorry also for the the war and uh okay but um, i but don't you're doing okay. just to talk to to um, talk about this uh, about yeah. This, yeah. And I'm sorry. So it, this is a, a beautiful time for to know uh, the other people, the uh, um, different culture, and don't uh, improve. Don't only improve or learn in my case uh, the English but also know uh, knowing the, the other culture and the other people in the world is amazing. Very good. Nice to meet you Veronica. Thank you. Um, I would give you a couple of tips. When you speak look into the camera and it feels yeah. like you're um, looking at us and maybe speak a little slower so that each word gets heard and people understand better. But your language is very good. So just a couple of tips for you. Yeah, sorry. I, uh, my no, no, it's fine. That's why we're here. Uh, yeah. Very good. And Sedek Tala, could you introduce yourself and say hello to the class? Uh, Sebek Tola, are you there? Okay, let's uh, move along. Ali, are you there? Would you like to introduce yourself 
to the class and say hello. No. Okay. And how about Victor? Victor, are you there? Would you like to introduce yourself to the class? Hi. No, Victor? No? Okay, we'll move along. Sultan, uh, nice to Hi. meet you. Ah, somebody I heard. Hi. Hi, Hi Victor. Victor. Hi, Teacher Dave. Hi, nice teacher. to meet you. Uh, hi. hi, Teacher Dave. We have hi. already met before. Yes, I don't see you, so I can't tell. But that's I right. Say, yeah. I recognize well, your voice. A, that's it. How are you okay. today? Okay. Uh, uh, I'm I'm very uh, well. It's winter in Argentina, but it's very hot. That's why I'm naked. That's why I cannot show <laughs> my environment to you. <laughs> Good move. I'm naked. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to get offended. You know. Yes, I, people <laughs> okay. appreciate uh, it. Well, Thank you. Yes, most of us, most of you know me because um, well, I'm a regular student. I try to engage uh, classes every day. So uh, I am from Argentina. Uh, I teach English at the local high school. Uh, I'm, well, I'm, make, I'm making progress, uh, you know, in this Beautiful. platform. Uh, and I want to keep on. Okay. Victor, would and you I like to try the elevator speech that we talked about? Who, who you are, what, what you're great at, and what you want. Um, and then you ask for it. Would you like to try it? We're okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, well, my name is Victor Esteban. I am from Argentina. I am 46 years old. I am a teacher of English at the local high school. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here because I want to keep up. Most of all, I want to keep up. Okay. But I see. Because I, I think if, if you start, you know, getting lazy, you, you, you start forgetting what you've been building. So I, I, I want to keep up. Uh, so I, I, think, I think if you keep on, you're going to uh, be successful. You know, you want to succeed in, in making progress. So uh, that's why I'm here. Excellent, uh, excellent, Victor. Thank, want, you. Thank you for your is, introduction. My goal is to being able to, be, to give to give uh, conferences in English someday. Well, yeah, I think you're uh, close already. So very good. My, my, Remember that, to that speak is, slowly. My, my, and if everyone can slowly. keep uh, sentences short and clear so we can move through. Uh, Nasir, can I ask you to introduce yourself? And I see your hands up. Would you like to say hello and uh, hello. 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 How are you today? Yasir, how are you today? I'm fine. How about you, sir? Very good. And could you tell us a little about yourself and say hello to the class? Yeah, definitely. Well, my name is I'm from Pakistan. I'm 27 years. Mm -hmm. I have my graduation in Bachelor of Engineering. After it, I want to learn study for the purpose of uh, only want to study abroad. That's why I'm uh, taking arts classes or English classes from different sources like uh, physical class or online classes. Very good. Yes, sir. If I could ask you to speak a little slower, it'll be more clear for my ear. Um, when you speak fast, it's hard to hear what people are saying. So you have to mm -hmm. speak very slowly and enunciate each word. And this way you communicate much better. It was hard to hear some of what you said. It sounds like you're in a technical field. Uh, did you say engineering or? Yeah. Oh, very good. Okay, let me, um, Abdullah, would you like to introduce yourself and say hello to the class? Sir, I have, I have a question. I have a question. Last week, you gave me a YouTube assignment for us, for all students. If you knew about that, 
you give assignment about it describe a place that you have yes visited. i would love to hear that could you tell us a place yeah definitely mm -hmm. uh, do you know about pakistan the places are uh, weather no what's the weather like where you are okay well i'm explaining you well uh, most tourists uh, had visit to uh, uh, different uh, uh, tourist places like uh, they want they want how they um, their tradition so most tourists had visit uh, to Swat last uh, last week wow yes yeah, so you're, you're, you're cutting in and had, out a little bit I think the connection had, is not great I'm sorry, um, but it's hard to hear because of the tech technology. I think. Mm. So yeah, I'm sorry. yes. Um, let's move along to and and from Ethiopia. Welcome to the class. Could you introduce yourself and say hello uh, to the class? Nice to meet you. I'm Teacher Dave in Florida. How are you today? Hello, Teacher. Hello, everyone. Hi. Good evening. My Hi. name is Abdullah. I'm calling from Iraq. I hope you are doing well. Yes, welcome. So I work as a teacher in my school at primary school. Wow. Uh, yes, English department, but uh, we have uh, three subjects. Uh, English department, uh, Sinus Arabic. I teach uh, kids uh, three subjects. Wow. Well, your English sounds good. So yes. that explains why. So yes, I'm English. here for. Yes, I'm here for improving my English language. So Great. I can speak English very well. That was a perfect I, introduction. That was excellent. Yes. Thank nice you so much. You. That is the welcome. first time I spoke to you. Yes, Thank welcome. You. Welcome to the class. Good to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. Thank you. And uh, let's see, Abdullah, would you like to, uh, I see your hands up. Would you like to speak again or Nasir, would you like to say hello and uh, introduce yourself if you could? Yes, uh, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I, I will start to uh, Open camera for one minute because uh, mm -hmm. we uh, face uh, a technical problem here. I uh, see. The yeah, there you go. Now I can see. Uh, you. Okay, my name is uh, Nasser Debwan. I am uh, from uh, Yemen. Uh, I am uh, grad graduated from uh, 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 from uh, uh, civil engineer sector. Uh, I graduated before uh, 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 ten years ago. That means I have uh, 10 years in construction and uh, uh, civil engineering uh, work. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, I, I start to work for, uh, I start to work as a construction engineer, site construction engineer for uh, uh, the first three years from right. I graduated. But mm -hmm. uh, because as uh, you know, we face here in Yemen, uh, civil war that uh, uh, become here in uh, uh, Yemen that uh, uh, face us to uh, move to other sector work uh, in. I start to work uh, to organization humanitarian aid that uh, uh, help people. They um, they face it to leave their home and uh, they affected by work here in Yemen. Uh, I start to, to uh, work as from the. First, I start to work uh, beginning as a volunteer, then I uh, climb uh, mm -hmm. the leader. Now I work as a, a field uh, management, a field wow. coordinator uh, for manage office that opening, uh, we are opening uh, currently in Ma'rib because the conflict is increases here in this area. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, now I work uh, uh, there. Uh, also, uh, we have provide assistance for people 
they in needed, especially they uh, face it to leave their home and uh, uh, district to other and uh, uh, displacement to uh, live in uh, uh, IDB sites. Uh, like a camp, like uh, IDB sites is uh, the main, uh, uh, like a camp. They uh, live together with uh, host community. And, uh, well, well, Nasir, we you, you speak very by, well. Uh, Your language skills are very well. I mean, you speak very well. And I would tell you just maybe speak a little bit slower and a little bit louder. But it's very good uh, language skill. Thank you. Thank you. Nice introduction. And. Thank you. Let's see who uh, thank is you next. So um, also, I, uh, currently yes. I believe uh, I uh, would think uh, everyone they uh, work for this uh, site yes. because as you know, uh, there are many people they want to uh, improve their uh, uh, language skills, yes. but uh, they, uh, they don't have a time to go to the uh, institute to yeah. uh, attend the class or formal class. But uh, the, from this space, they can. Um, uh, they can uh, learn or improve their language and uh, call uh, or, um, speaking to calling teacher that uh, uh, will be uh, uh, make their uh, language very uh, improve. In the same time, uh, uh, I interested to this because uh, currently I believe my uh, technical skills and uh, uh, experience yeah, the experience that I uh, coming in the last uh, six years that I work for uh, international organization. So this, uh, the, uh, that will be, uh, take me to take a step for my career, uh, a new step to go to allow, uh, I am uh, apply, uh, I applying to go outside Yemen I to work in the same uh, uh, sector that I work in. Thank you. Very good. Nice speaking. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And Saad, you have your hand up. Can I ask you? Uh, yes. Would you like to say hello? And do you have a question or let's hello. see, lower your Greetings, hand. dear Sir David. Hi. Uh, wish you are well and Thank you. all are also good as well. Would you like to uh, uh, introduce yourself to the class? And yes, yes, say sure. hello and tell them a little about yourself. Hello, introducing me. I am Sadman Islam. I had visit mm -hmm. to Swat. Uh, oh, I'm yes, here. Let's let Sayed speak, uh, please. Thank uh, you. Uh, yes, introducing Syed. me, I am Sadman Islam. Mm -hmm. I am from uh, Bangladesh. I'm 23 years old. Uh, mm -hmm. Just now, I have uh, done my BSc in textile engineering. Wow. Uh, now, actually, I am seeking. Uh, to go in abroad uh, mm -hmm. for a master's degree. Uh, that's right. why uh, I need I need to get my IELTS score uh, seven point five to eight. Mm -hmm. uh, so for okay. that, uh, so for that I need to uh, uh, I need to get my requirement IELTS score. Uh, that's why I have a little uh, I have a little lackings in my speaking. Uh -huh. uh, so that's why that's why I, I am here to uh, cope up this problem. Yes, well, it sounds good so far. So welcome to the class and keep Thank coming you, every uh, Sunday and we'll work on it together. Yes, and let's see, who have I not spoken to yet? Safa, would you like to introduce yourself and say hello to the class? I don't think uh, we've... Are you there, Safa? Hello? Hello, hello, Mr. David. Yes, I introduce myself. If you want, I can repeat. Yes, repeat it, please. Sorry. There's many people today, so I'm confused. I'll go, I'll move along. It's okay. It, yo, there you are. Yes, no, of course. Yes, Sorry. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me try Afam. Afam, could you introduce yourself to the class and say hello? Hello, I am. Hi, how are you today? Nice, thank Sorry, you. Uh, I am a, I am a film from uh, Italy. Uh, top program in France. Uh, I am. Uh, uh, 
working and uh, studying. Okay. Okay. I have done my master's degree in physics in 2020. I am trying wow. to, to start my PhD a, in, in this goal, I am proving to improve my language speaking. Thank you for all. Very good. Good speaking. That was a nice introduction. And I heard you clearly. So very good. And let's see. Um, how about Miriam? Would you like to introduce yourself to the class and say hello? And maybe a little bit about yourself, if you could. And if everyone uh, turns on their cameras, I can, it would be easier to see people. Miriam, are you there? No, okay. Um, Chasajid, would you like to introduce yourself and say hello, if you could? Chasajid, no, nothing, okay. Let's see, have I missed, um, how about Sultan? Would you like to introduce yourself and uh, say hello to the class if you could? Is there anything that people would like to talk about particularly today? Veronica, is there any subject that would be most useful for you? Anyone? Let's see. Yulia, do you have a favorite uh, subject, Tariq? No? Mm, actually, sir, I have so many subjects that I would like to talk or to, to discuss. Very good. With the, yeah, with the people here, but I'm not quite sure that the my subjects will be like interesting to others. So well, I'm wondering. We'll yeah, let you I'm, know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm wondering about the how can I, or what kind of the subjects that I have to choose, in order to in order to speak about it. So, but I would like to to speak about the free education. Okay, that will be provided by the like government or. Uh, to the to the to the people to the to the people who are not able to pay the tuition fees, so I think yeah this is the most uh, important subjects I would like to talk about. So what do you what do you what do you think about that, guys? I think that that the end of education is when you want to learn. So when you want to learn, it's it, you don't have to go to school. You just use your own resources like this. Uh, this is a good resource for learning English, but you can learn, if you have the internet, you can learn pretty much anything these days on, on the YouTube or uh, different platforms. So mostly it's about having the, the will to want to learn. Um, yeah. If you have to learn, it's difficult, you know, when yeah. you have to learn something. Teacher, I, I, I like I mentioned that the people who would like to enter the the college, enter the college, but they don't have the like financial ability to pay the tuition fees. So, what is I I think what is the advice that uh, must be given for those who are like not able to pay the tuition fees or something like that because nowadays nowadays the like when we would like to like join the the company or searching about the jobs the first important uh, thing that the company ask you what uh, what 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 kind of uh, certificate or something like that are you like uh, you are hold or, or are you are you like bachelor degree or master degree holder holder so uh, what is the advice to to what is the advice that must be given for well, the number people? one number one advice is don't give up there's always yeah. a way to learn and yeah. companies they want people who can do things whether you have a diploma it doesn't matter so much if you can do the work they want yeah. the best worker 
So if you're the best, they'll hire you usually. Um, and so you keep studying. I, I heard that uh, Elon Musk, the famous you know, space uh, company owner, he didn't know anything about rockets. And he said that he learned about rockets from YouTube with no school, but, but it's supply and demand in the marketplace. So if you have something people want, they will let you work for them. They're looking for the best workers. I don't think the degree is usually so important. So number one is don't give up. Just yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but teacher, but, but teacher. Sometimes, when you, when I would like to learn uh, like uh, scientific, scientific things, uh, that's uh, very like difficult to be learning from YouTube or from other sources. Yes. Uh, yeah, that uh, I must, I must attend the class in the college or universities to teach me how to deal or how to solve the problem scientifically. So yeah, it, your your idea could it can be help uh, students who are looking for uh, like uh, take uh, looking for to like take the social works or like some uh, other steps which doesn't need to like solve the problem in the in the mathematical way or scientifically yeah that could be held but for for the scientific uh, lessons for example physics or chemistry it's very difficult to be learning from youtube or other resource so yeah sense. yeah so so yeah it's very difficult for those who are not able to like pay the tuition fees to learn some kind of scientific lessons i guess yes yeah, so it's often helpful to find mentors if you can look for people who are doing this work and become friends with them, then often they can help you. Um, also books, of course, there used to be something called books that people read and, and mm -hmm. learn and, and just realize that if you, if you keep working forward and are persistent, you can do much more than you believe. So you have to have faith that you'll get there. I yeah. think today we've heard a number of students talk about difficulties uh, in terms of education and yet they persisted and now they're speaking very well. Um, so, so determination is the most important thing and to realize that you can do much more than you believe usually. So okay. you have to have faith in that. Yeah, and thank you so much, for teacher, time. for your for your advice. Thank you. Yes. I spent 25 years at a college watching this, and uh, I would watch students succeed depending on how determined they were to go to this place. So... Sir, may, may yes, I ask teacher, something? Please talk, yes. Hello? Oh, hi, Adrian. Yes. Well, yes. What What would you like to say? Sir, can you help me in uh, present uh, past perfect tense? Uh, could you explain a uh, topic? Because uh, when I explain a uh, topic in past perfect, so it's not linking words. I get problem in the sentence. I'm, I'm you sorry, yes, your, your, like... your communication, uh, the technology is not working. I can only hear every three words. So I, I think I heard the word past perfect, but I'm not sure. Is that what you're looking uh, to find uh, what it is? Or do you want the def uh, past perfect what it is? Is that what you're asking? Past perfect uh, tense. Can you give me an example of like uh, 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 I um, mm -hmm. I told you before about uh, describe you had a visit uh, to tourist places. So could you give me some uh, example? Because yes, uh, I'll I put it in to... the chat box right now, and you could see it. The past perfect is made from the verb and the past particle of a verb. I had finished the work. 
she had gone no 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 sir no sir no. like that uh, no. i had visited to swat with my friend after that we had enjoyed like this kind of well i just googled like that a story that's what a, a story no, no problem that's why we're here to learn together so um did that answer your question or or still more sorry the past perfect is she had gone um so let's see i haven't heard from fm yet fm would you like to say hello to the class or or uh anyone uh adrian yes yes um, adrian, i see your hands okay. up teacher i have a, a doubt um is is a good idea to apply for jobs uh, if even if I do, I am not sure about my English because I have applied for some English jobs, but I didn't get them and I felt frustrated. I don't know if it's a good idea because I have heard some people that they don't have a good English. They apply for a job, they get it, and they improve the English working. Yes, it's. I understand. I once applied 100 times and only received one letter back thanking me for applying. It can be extremely frustrating sometimes. Yes, yes. And uh, again, you have to have faith and don't give up and be determined. Um, and sometimes it's, it's difficult and you have, to, you have to look for alternatives. If, if not A, then B, if not B, then C. And, and you keep working at it but your determination will get you there. So don't give up. Um, okay. Yeah, you, you look good. And when you, did you think there was a particular issue when you tried to get those jobs? What did you think was going on? Were there just a lot of people <coughs> competing or? No, because now I, I, I can say that I understand English uh, well, but uh, sometimes they, uh, gave me uh, or apply me a person person at us and it's very difficult to yeah. pass. One thing I would tell you, Adrian, is to speak a little slower okay. because when you speak fast, it's hard to it's hard to understand. So always speak a little slower and people will will uh, appreciate it very much. Okay. Um, it's very competitive for many things. And I understand your frustration. It's yes. really hard sometimes. Yes. So, but you can do it. You can okay. do it. You just Thanks, have to, you? they say, how do you get to Carnegie Hall playing <laughs> violin? Practice, practice, okay. practice. Yes. So this is uh, the same with getting jobs or work. It's like a game almost that you keep working at until you can eventually figure it out and then you have different problems. So it's always something, you know. Um, so we're gonna uh, wrap up the class. Is there anything else I can answer? Otherwise, let's do a description next week because it was supposed to be this week, but we didn't get it. If everyone could describe a place to me next week uh, when we're here, and we'll listen to everyone's descriptions. And thank you very much for the class. Nice to meet everyone. And I think you're all speaking perfectly, really well. I, I'm so impressed with everyone's ability. So thank you all and have a thank nice you, day. Thank you, teacher, bye. Bye, guys. Thank bye, you, everyone. teacher. Bye. Your assignment for next week. Yes. Thank you the for your time. The assignment is a description of a place this time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you. sir. Goodbye. Bye, bye guys. Thank you. Bye.